What is up everybody? Today we are back on Minecraft and if you guys woke up this morning and you're anything like me You saw a million different videos on Minecraft battle mode coming out today All kinds of people making all kinds of videos about all kinds of information related to battle mode And there was just like 50 million videos to watch and you know Some of us just don't have the time to watch all of those videos or we don't want to watch them all And we're just looking for one that puts all of the important information into one place And if that is you this video is for you because I spent about the past two or three hours looking around finding all of the information related to battle mode and putting it here into one video so you guys don't have to watch 15 videos you can just watch one and get all of the information that you need so I tried to compile everything in here I really hope that this is a comprehensive list of everything it should be I've kind of got little sections I'm gonna talk generally about battle mode first then I'm gonna talk about some of the gameplay changes and how the gameplay is gonna work I'm gonna talk a little bit about how the spectator works how the lobby works and then some of like the UI changes that happened as well and kind of what we can happen or kind of what we can expect for some post game um, type of gameplay so I really got a little bit of everything related to battle mode in here everything you need to know battle mode is in this video so if you guys enjoy this and you guys want to see some more videos like this where we don't waste your time we take that no nonsense approach make sure you guys leave me some love down below and subscribe because I will have tons of videos like this coming out so let's go ahead and jump directly into the first thing that battle mode is and battle mode is basically a modified hunger games that is being released on every single console Console, right it's coming out on all the consoles so you guys don't have to worry regardless of what console you are on and it is coming out next month in June so it's about a month away and when it releases, like I said, it's going to be a modified Hunger Games, which we're going to talk about here in just a moment, and it's going to release with three different maps. Now, I do have some more information on the maps, but I didn't really think it was super important to put in this video, so I think I'm going to have another later video coming out talking about all of the different maps, so make sure you guys stick around for that if you guys are interested. But the three maps are going to be coming out on release, they're going to be free, the whole game mode is going to be free, but there are going to be offered map packs coming out later for $3 a piece, which include more maps and potentially more game modes coming as well. And so in a lot of the articles I was reading and all over the place I was seeing that battle which is what this first one is called this first battle mini game is the first of many right and so in the future we are going to be seeing a lot more mini games coming out to Minecraft on the console and Roger Carpenter said that we are going to be seeing some new stuff every single month coming out as re as it relates to this mini game mode so there's going to be tons of new content coming out for this and it's not just going to be like kind of a one-off where they just do like one thing and then they never touch it again there is going to be tons of new content coming for this including like I said new game modes which might be like spleef hide and seek and just all of the other Minecraft game modes that you love they said that they are looking into a whole bunch of different ones so make sure you guys are looking around for those because those battle or those game modes are going to be coming out um, in the future and all of these new game modes, especially battle, are all completely automatic, right? You can you can modify a couple of the rules, right? Like maybe how long the round time is and things like that if you're doing custom games. But for the most part, it is going to be a set rule set where you just go onto your Xbox, you click the mini game button, and you are searching for a game. Now, searching for a game, does that mean matchmaking? Yes, it does. So matchmaking has been confirmed. Matchmaking will be coming with the gameplay, and it is based on your skill level. And so if you have been winning a lot of matches you're gonna be playing with people who are better if you've been losing a lot of matches you're gonna be playing with people who are worse so there's going to be a complete matchmaking system that allows you to play with a total of eight players online as well as four split screens so if you want to play locally you can do that with four of your friends on your TV or you can also go online like I said with seven other people and including yourself um, in this matchmaking system which is really awesome right one thing that 4G Studios is is incredibly stressing here with this new mini game option is that they want it to be quick in and quick out right they don't want to waste your time time they want you to come in they want you to click a button and they want you to be in a game in two seconds and playing and killing people and there's a lot of things with the gameplay and with the uh, with the UI that they've changed to really make it so this is a fast-paced process and so let's go ahead now and talk about some of the gameplay and how it is going to work so like I said, you're going to access this battle mode game mode from the main menu, right? You're just going to select mini games. You're going to go down to battle. You're going to pick battle. You're going to select maybe what maps you want to play on. And then you're going to get into a game and it's going to put you into a lobby. Now, this lobby that you're in before the game starts is a kind of like little pre-game lobby where you can run around. It's kind of loading up the map. It's picking what people are going to be playing. And then it's going to be placing you into the actual Hunger Games map. But in the lobby, it's just kind of, you know, like that little pre-game lobby where it's like the loading screen where the whole game is loading. Um, and then after that is done, it loads into the actual game where you are placed into your battle mode world, whatever it will be. Like I said, one of the three that I mentioned before. 
and then you will have about 30 seconds of invulnerability before you can actually kill people. So all of this is all automatic, right? The entire system is automated. You are placed in your little pod or your spawn area. There's a countdown. The countdown ends. You get invulnerability, and then you can run. You have 30 seconds of time when you cannot die, when you cannot kill anybody, to get your chests all in order, to get your potions ready, to get everything ready to go. And then after that 30 seconds is over, it's just a normal basic Hunger Games where you fight to the death. Now, like I said, 4J Studios have made some changes to this, right? This isn't just your basic Hunger Games. There are a couple of changes into the game. One of them is that around the, uh, the, the middle crosshair of your player, there is a circle. And that circle shows you in what direction you got hit from. So now there's no more when you get hit, you don't know where you got hit from, right? So if somebody's behind you, the little thing, the little indicator is going to point behind you, and you're going to know where you're getting hit from. It's just like Call of Duty in that sense, so you know exactly where you are getting hit from. Um, in addition to that, as you're running around, you're going to come across chests that automatically refill as time goes on. So all of the chests will spawn randomly, right, with all kinds of items inside of them. People are going to run around, they're going to loot them, but then randomly at different points during the game, it is going to refill the chests and you're going to notice a little particle effect when those chests are being refilled now there's a real tactical advantage to knowing to where these chests are on the map and so you need to know where these chest locations are to really have that tactical advantage in knowing where the good gear is going to be spawning and so that way um, learning the maps and knowing exactly where things are is going to be very important and it adds in another skill based um, component to this hunger games that I'm really really excited for now another thing with that is that the hunger in the game goes down very quickly right this has to do a lot with the fast-paced gameplay that 4j studios is trying to put in so hunger goes down by default right no matter what you're doing your hunger level is going to be dropping all the time and this is going to effectively fight off people who want to only sit in one place and hide until the game is over because you will literally starve to death if you hide for too long and so in order to keep people moving around in order to keep people running um, there is actually a, a hunger depletes by default, but as long as you have any hunger at all, it doesn't matter how much, as long as you have any at all, you are going to be regenning and you are going to be allowed to sprint, but the second that your hunger runs out, it you start starving, right? It's just like normal Minecraft in that respect, that you start starving when you have no hunger, but it's different in the fact that if you have any level of hunger, you are still going to regen and you can still sprint, but they really, really want to stop people from hiding the entire game away, and so they do that by making the hunger go down by default fault so you need to be actively searching around for food otherwise like I said you are literally going to stive and starve in your little corner that you were hiding in you know until the game was over so another change that they've made into this that makes it a little bit different from normal Minecraft is that when you go and you grab stuff out of chests, you actually have no inventory, right? The entire battle mode system, the entire inventory system that you have is only your hotbar, right? I think you have like nine inventory slots that you have to work, or nine, uh, nine hotbar slots that you have to work with, and that's all you have. So you really, really need to be careful with the items that you're taking. This, again, sticks to the fast-paced uh, montage that they are really sticking to here. They want to keep people moving. They don't want people, you know, sitting there organizing their inventory for 15 minutes. They want you only to take what you need and to go and not to mess around with, um, you know, trying to organize your inventory and have every single item that you come across and stop other people from getting things. So there's going to be a real emphasis here on quick gameplay and uh, and not taking everything in the chest. You're going to come across a chest and you're going to have to look very quickly and decide what things are important in that chest to you. Take only what you need and then leave. But there is going to be added in um, a new take all option. So there's going to be like one button for a lot of things right there's going to be one button to put on your armor there's going to be one button to take everything in the chest and it's just like i said a very very fast paced game mode now after that right after a lot of people have been fighting for a long time after the people who are hiding in corners have starved off and there's dead and there's only about two people left or a certain amount of time has passed the game will enter into what is called showdown mode and what that is is it's basically a uh, like a last man standing kind of mode where Everybody knows where everybody's at because game tag or I'm um, sorry name tags become visible and so these visible name tags show everybody in the game where everybody else is at and then people know where to go to fight and take care of you know the opponent and try and win the game. So what happens when the game's done or what let's actually let's back up. What happens when you die, right? Say I die before the game is over, then what happens? Well, you are going to enter into what is called spectator mode. And in spectator mode, basically you become a bat that can then fly around the arena, a physical bat that right other players can see, and you can then push down, I think it's like the right trigger or whatever the the equivalent of the right trigger is on all the different consoles, and you can like squeak very annoying you can get in the face of different people's, uh, you know, of different enemies, people that killed you. You can get in their face and be very annoying.
annoying, but you can spectate and you can be completely, uh, you know, engrossed in the game even though you are dead. And so it's, it's really, you know, involved all the way through even if you die, which is really, really cool so after the game is totally done let's go here now after the game is done everybody is dead there's been a winner selected the game will automatically end after i think five seconds after the last person has died it will say you know so and so won the game and then you're going to be placed back into the lobby where you can then see your stats from that game right you can see all of the different players kills you can see who had how many kills and what award they got so there's going to be an award system at the end of every game similar to how it happens like in call of duty right you might get like a best mark Marksman award or a best swordsman award or a best hider award or you know whatever the different awards are going to be and you're going to see what the different awards are at the end of this game and after you've done that, um, the game is going to, like I said, just sit in the lobby. You're going to have, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. I don't know how long the, the lobby waiting time is. And then it's going to put you into another game where you can play with some more people. And so, how awesome is this? So, as I'm looking here at my notes on my, uh, on my little pad here with the information that I wanted to tell you guys about, there is one more thing that I wanted to mention. It has to do, again, with the UI. You guys might have noticed that in the screenshots that I have going on here in the background, that as people are playing in the actual matchmaking, game there are right above the hot bar there are these uh, these little lights like these little uh, different colored lights right above there that you've never seen in Minecraft before and basically all of those lights correspond to different players so all of these different players have a different color light and if their light is on they are still alive and if their light is out they are dead and spectating or they left the game or something happened to where they're not playing anymore okay so this basically shows you exactly how many more how many people are still alive how many people are still playing and if you're still playing how many people you have yet to kill before you win the game and also over on the left hand side there is a little armor indicator that shows you exactly what armor you are wearing at any current moment and so it just really makes it a very quick glance to see exactly what you're wearing and, and it takes care of everything that you could ever need to know at a very quick glance. So, whoo! I think that that is everything that I wanted to mention for Battle Mode. I think that this is going to be the most comprehensive video yet out on the internet for Battle Mode that has everything you need to know in one video. So, I really, really, really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys leave me some love down below with a like. It really does help me out and really lets me know that you guys appreciate the, the you know, the amount of time that I spent trying to compile all this information from all these different sources to, uh, to make this video for you guys. So, a like really would help me out. Subscribe if you have not already because as new information comes out for Battle Mode, I will have tons and I do mean tons of videos coming out but they won't be waste your time videos they'll be good videos for you guys to enjoy so make sure you guys subscribe for those it really does mean the world to me i think with that said that's about all that i have to say for this particular video if there is anything about battle mode that i missed that you guys think is important right there are some little things that that are in battle mode that i didn't mention like i said um things like um what happens in like the lobby screen in between there is some gameplay that happens there and maybe some little secrets in there that are kind of interesting that we might want to talk about in a later video there are some smaller things like i said like what the exact three maps will be there is all kinds of information about all of these different things but i didn't want to put them in this video because this is like an overview video right like a video where you see everything that you ever wanted to know and so i will talk about those things in later videos so make sure you guys subscribe for those but if i missed anything like super important leave that down below in the comment section so that i can make sure that i mention it in a later video so that everybody's up to date on all of the latest with all of that said i appreciate all of you guys watching i appreciate it i, I love you guys all and i will see all you guys later with another video okay bye peace